Hey folks, just a quick video. I want to show you how to make an effective HF choke that will be effective 20 through 10 meters. Now I am, uh, this is the uh, GM3 SEK design, so he gets full credit for that. I'll put a link in the description below and I urge you to check out um, uh, his website and all the information that's there. Um, I'm going to be using this on my um, 20 meter moxin, which will hopefully also cover 15 and 10. So first thing we need to do is we need to stick together these two ferrite cores. Now I'll put a link to these, these are critical and it's critical you get the ferrite version. So um, let's glue those together first. So now we need to leave those to set, so I'll put those to the side um, for a minute, just make sure they're not stuck to anything. Now, I'm also going to need, you know, it depends what type of connectors you want to put on the other side, so it's 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 designed for um, RG58 um, sized coax, so I'm going to use these. Um, you can see that I've already used these, um, but the good thing with compression fittings that if you're gentle with them, um, you can use them again. Um, so what I need to do now is um, I need to strip these down. Right, so that's me, got the two connectors um, all stripped um, and you should be good to reuse again. And our ferrite cores have, have dried pretty quickly um, with the super glue. So I'm going to attempt to use this. This is Messi and Pavoni Ultra Flex 5 Crystal or something like that. Um, I spoke about this before in a previous video, um, real nice stuff. Um, so we'll see if we can do this. So all we're going to do is we're going to thread this through. There we go, there's our choke. Now, I'm not sure if I can get another turn, but I, I don't want the, um, I want to keep the one connector on one side and one connector on another side, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, just tidy this up a bit. And the good thing with the coils being that tight, you don't need to, um, you don't need to use, um, uh, cable ties, zip ties or anything like that. So that's your choke, that's your choke built. Now, all I need to do now is, is, is terminate that top and bottom and then put our SO239 connector on it and I'll just, um, that'll fix on the side of the spider beam pole. Um, so yeah, so ready to get our connectors on now. There we go folks, that's our um, choke made. Now a little bit change of plan. Um, the um, Compression and fittings I had, they were just a little bit too small for this uh, Hyperflex um, uh, 5. So I actually had a little off cut, smaller piece in this. This is the high power um, coax I was talking about. So this is um, just a poor cousin of DX, uh, of sorry, of RG142. So this is DXW142. And this, as I said, this will probably still handle a couple of kilowatt up around about 10 meters so this is what I've put around here and I've actually managed to get an extra turn because it's slightly smaller diameter now you didn't need to see me putting on the um, the, uh, the plugs you can see that on any video but there we are that's our um, HF choke so that will be effective 20 meters through 10 meters and um, so you can't buy these but I would urge you to go out and make these I'll put a link below um, to GM3 SEK's website where you can find all the information um, on how to uh, to build these said that earlier um, so yeah so that's going to go so I built this for the moxin and um, but uh, you know obviously it's going to work with any application and um, but yeah one step forward 
Okay guys, thanks for watching, 73, we'll see you in the next video.